actually valuable. <laughs> Keep watching if you want to know how to create engaging animated Instagram stories for your social media to make sure it looks fire every single time. Like I said, this video is no, like, it's actually good. Um, <laughs> I'd keep on watching. If you're a YouTuber, blogger, inst if you are living and breathing and you're watching this right now, this is useful because I wished at least I had this when I was trying to create different types of Instagram stories because to be like honest, those like default little fonts that Instagram gives you and you have to type in like link in bio or click here doesn't look the most appealing all the time so here it goes and the catch is there's no catch because there's no graphic designer needed okay so what I did is I decided to be a nice person and create a kit I literally call it the fire Instagram story kit there's a link in bio I don't get like I don't make money off of it it's like 99 cents not to like profit but just to actually have like it's just for commitment purposes to make sure you guys are also using it by the way, I'm in Paris right now, so bonjour, if you're new here, <laughs> make sure you like and subscribe um, to support my channel. So the things you really need is a nice picture of you <laughs> or anything, you need a favorite font of yours, and you need like some sort of editor, like uh, you can use uh, Final Cut Pro, Final um, Adobe Premiere. You do not need to do any After Effects bullshit because I don't know how to use that, so I decided to make it simple. And you probably would need some music, so that's it. <laughs> so you probably mostly have that. If you don't, let me know. I could try to make a Final Cut Pro version or like an iMovie version, but um, for now, I know most people like Adobe Premiere. So I'm gonna show you a few examples right here. So as you can tell, pretty simple, but it looks just cool. And I get a lot of questions about how to do it. I get my stuff called motionarray.com, but that's like 40 bucks. So I made a 99 cent version or $1 version. So uh, you guys can choose. I'll link both, I'll link everything below. Uh, yeah, so this is what you can take a look at. Um, you use this usually for like the swipe up feature or asking people to click the link in your bio. You can use it for anything really i know bloggers will love this i know youtubers will love this like comment down below if this is useful because i know i was looking for this and i really couldn't find any tutorials that taught how to make like the animated pretty um graphics because everyone says you need a graphic designer but i'm like fuck that like i don't even want to use it after effects like <laughs> all right so we are here and like i said there's a link in bio you could just it's 99 cents. I'll most likely keep adding on to it anyways, so maybe I'll keep it up longer. Um, I don't know. I just made it so people can find it easily and, you know, pick it up. Okay, so I have this my kit already downloaded. I'm not, like, trying to sell you guys, but I did make a kit to make it easier. So here's what it looks like. I made one for you. Um, it also comes with, like, a little... Uh, swipe up thingy so you get the like you get like one of these thingies and then you even get like a little bit of this like little swipe thing up if that makes sense i give you guys one of each so you have one feature of this and like a little swipe up thing anyways to do this guys you go to sequence settings make sure it's 1080 to 1920 916 is what instagram story formats are usually are so once you do that, you're Gucci. So the second thing you need to do this is a picture of yourself. I'm just gonna put, um, usually I recommend having a folder on your computer of pictures that you like of the video you're trying to post. Um, let's find one. Okay, sure, this one. <laughs> um, usually you can use two or three. I'll just give you guys two for now. It already looks good, like, oof, it looks nice. So I think that just looks so much, so much better than the regular, like, um, swipe like Instagram default feature so I'm just gonna set that to frame scale perfect so now that you have this all you do is now add the music um I would say I downloaded my music legally off YouTube but you know you guys can do whatever you want here I just put a little track on there it's really looking snazzy um, so it should look like this now the key to this is you're going into 
Uh, when you go, this is not an Adobe Premiere tutorial. This is just showing what I do. You go to color key. So this is how you get rid of the green screen background. And yeah, guys, I just did that. And you can put the color key on. Now you go into this one, tap the green, magically goes away. I usually have clean up the edges with like a to color tolerance of 40. So then I pop it right above it and it's a lot too big. So I'm going to just show you quickly how to resize it. Um, I usually do like 20% size and say you want to do it like a swipe up feature, just kind of rotate it down and there you go. And you put it to the bottom. So yeah, guys, I'm going to link today's finished product right here or put it right there you guys can take a look at the work we did together pretty good keep in mind you can switch it up i would say swipe up to watch my new youtube video you can type that in add your favorite font do swipe up to read my new blog posts like this is so much nicer than like those like default stories like can we agree here um i thought this would be helpful and i hope you like this if you do make sure you give this a like and share it to someone maybe and again, it's like 99 cents. So <laughs> it's ridiculously cheap. I don't know why I'm doing that so low. Um, I don't know. I hope you guys like this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Greetings from Paris, and I'll see you later. Mwah.